Five, I'm on the phone with the scammer. I'm on mute. He's an officer. This is awesome. There's an outstanding amount on your name that is still to be paid. For that reason, your driving license will be cancelled. Everything under your name, your property, your bank account will be seized. And your social security number will be red flagged. Okay. So now, yes, sir. How do I fix it? So now let's. So now let me know, did you do that intentionally or it was just a mistake? Oh uh, yeah, I purposely avoid my taxes as much as I can. I have a good lawyer if you want his name. Sorry, sir? I said I purposely tried to avoid my taxes as much as possible. Would you like my lawyer's name? Sir, if you want to just avoid the taxes that we will meet you into the courthouse to fight the case against the IRS. Uh huh. And the Case might cost you around forty to forty-five thousand dollars, as in lawyer fees, paperwork, and the bill charges. It may cost you that much around off. Right. That's why I have a lawyer. Are you are you giving me legal advice right now? Yes, sir. Why would you give me legal advice? You're not in a place to do that. If you don't think so, just hire a criminal attorney to file the case against IRS. Okay. Well, uh, how much is it to take care of this problem? $8,395. How the hell am I supposed to get you $8,000? Do I ask you to pay to me? Huh? Do you owe this amount to IRS, not to me. Oh, oh okay. Um, so how do I make the payment? See, Mr. We are proceeding with a warrant against your name. We are not giving you the option to resolve this matter. Okay. I just said I'd pay you. So, we will meet you into the courthouse to fight the case against the IRS. Okay, do you take the, the check there? Man, yes, what do you want from me, dude? I told you the options. No, you didn't tell me options. You said I owe you, or I owe the IRS, 8000 some odd dollars. How do I make the payment? I don't have time for this stuff. Will you be able to make the payments of $8,395? Yes, I'm rich. I have to do everything I can to avoid my taxes. I'd rather pay that than what I've actually scammed out of you guys. Sorry, sir? I said I would rather pay that than anything else. How do I make the payment? Okay, sir. First of all, verify your first and last name and the last four of your social. Sure. Uh, Jermaine Johnson, 4798. Wait for a second. Sure, because I got time for that. Jerry Robertson. Huh? Jerry Robertson. What? Your former and last name is Jerry Robertson, sir. No. I just told you. Is there, is there like a, a, a supervisor I can speak with? I don't think you're hearing me. It's a journal. What do you want to do with the supervisor? It, well, I'm just, I told you my name, I told you I wanted to pay it, and you've just been wasting my time. Is there somebody that I can just pay to the IRS, not the individual, because I don't want to get arrested for bribery? Who, who do I give the money to? Just put that person on the phone, because you are incompetent. Okay, sir. So I, I, I don't know if I'm on hold or if they just hung up, but I asked for a supervisor. It's kind of funny. This guy's... I know he doesn't want to let me go because I told him I'd pay. My favorite line is when I told him, uh, yeah, I'm rich. I avoid taxes all the time. Like, that's a thing. <laughs> So now the question is, do we hang up and call him again? 
because we got his badge number. It's 18261. That IRS guys have badge numbers. But $8,000. Like, it used to be like 500 and you had to go get an Apple ID card. It was ridiculous. All right, so we're going to pause right now and um, I'll give them a call back and we'll try to get somebody on the phone. So just hold on. Just beautiful.